The count of three, whatever your loved one name is, we're gonna scream long live with their name, you heard? One, two, three. Welcome back, Joseph Jim, to my channel. I am here with another vlog. I'm actually getting dressed to leave my house. I'm like pretty, uh, I should have started this way this morning, but when I was getting dressed, um, oh, matter of fact, I'm on tripod right here. Goodness gracious. It is almost the time for us to leave. And I'm here. I'm I'm here at the house. Uh, I just this hairstyle is like pissing me off because it never stays put. Like when I do this cute little fold over look. This little piece always doing this or doing this or just like, bitch, stop. It's, an, it's really very annoying. But yes, I'm going to go see Kev on stage. Y'all know I went to go see him um, when they was in Tampa. But that's not enough. I'm gonna see him every chance I get. Cause I I love them. I love them so. It's to here and some other girl, girl lady. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know her. Angel's not gonna be on it this tour. Apparently, she's actually retiring for comedy this time around. Which sucks. But you know, my girl gotta raise her kiddos. She's on, she's on HBO now, doing her big one. Nope, she's doing her big one. So we just, we just support her in different facets of life now. But I'm taking my mama. I just spent an hour and a half curling her hair. Um. I still need to get gas. I just got dressed. I told her our call time is um, 4.45. It's like 4.40 right now. I'm not even finished because she just left. I'm like running so behind y'all. So behind. I need to literally like put the pedal to the metal because Orlando is like Lakeland. Anybody will tell you Lakeland is... Did I get it? I don't think I did. Lakeland is in between Tampa and Orlando. But Tampa is significantly closer. It's like 30, maybe 40, 50 minutes to get to Tampa. And to get to Orlando, it's always like an hour and a half. Like the traffic is just always terrible going towards Orlando. So it ends up always being a lot longer to get to Orlando. Traffic sometimes, depending on where you're going in Tampa, you can get to Tampa in 30 minutes. But is it the kisses for me? Is it the kisses for me? Y'all know I'm a natural girly. This lighting is terrible. It's it's trash. I got my ring light right there, but because I'm about to move to the bathroom. I'm not in the mood to actually try to keep changing my lighting. So you guys are getting the worst camera camera quality I could possibly give you. She asked me to go with her like two months. It was it a month ago? A month ago. I told her yes. But now a few of my coworkers and my supervisor, they found out he's going, so they will be there. So Yeah, I guess it's a family affair. I don't know what's going on. 
Is it the kisses for me? They say that Tootsie, Tootsie, how you say his name? Is the opening act. I don't know because I haven't even. I'm literally only going because my friend asked me to go. I fussed the wrong way. I just am not invested like I used to be. I used to be invested in raw wave. Nevertheless, is it the kisses for me? Is it the kisses? My new group is getting wild. People think these are my real dreads. I promise you, I will probably never get dreads a day in my life. Not real ones at least. This is the most annoying hairdo possible. I just be aggravated all the time with this hairdo. But it's cute. So now I got bobby pins and I look like a... I am hey. 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 Eleven oh six in the afternoon. I'm just leaving the gym. Not too long ago, girl. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I went to the gym. I be in the gym for like two hours, and it's never on purpose. I just, it's so crazy because I never really like. Something like, oh, you shouldn't be in gym that long. You get in and out. Like I have a idea or a list of workouts that I'm trying to accomplish and I just and I'm not the type of person well not anymore who sits on their phone and in the gym like I've never really been heavy on like I'll either get on my phone to skip a song or something like that but I've alleviated like when I take my one 30 seconds to one minute break I've stopped the whole bullshit with sitting on my phone because next thing you know you're on TikTok, you're on Instagram and you don't waste the time so I don't even be on my phone I be straight on the workouts if anything maybe I'll stop going to the bathroom for like two minutes but I be like trying to figure out how the fuck do two hours be passing by <laughs> how the fuck do two hours be passing by because it don't be feeling like I'm in there that long and then I get I'm like damn it's just two hours later. so I'm exhausted yeah mm -hmm. But today is the big day, it's Broadway day. I am about to go, I need to go to Old Navy to return these pants. So, Old Navy and Burlington, I bought a dress from Burlington that doesn't fit my boob. Well, it fits the bottom half, but my boobs keep popping the button open. So we not doing that. Um, these 38 double Ds is really taking over my life. So, um, yeah, we are got a few errands to run and then, um, I don't fucking know, bitch. I'm tired. I'm really about to take a nap. <laughs> not gonna lie to you. My time of the month started last night while I was at the comedy show, which is terrible. But, you know, thank God for panty liners. <laughs> so, I was saved by the grace of God. This I was gonna wear this Hello Black Child outfit, but I need you to listen to me. Gabby, please. Stop. Stop making these small tops to go with these pretty leggings that only fit as A and B cup. Like, I swear to God, I kid you not, I'm so aggravated right now, because I want, I put one, two, three bobby pins, safety pins, three, to put this this together enough to hold my titties up. And I bend, bend it over 
couple seconds ago and bought one of them almost fell off and getting real pissed off can you please make an alternate top where us big girls who wear triple double d like that and who don't have an a and b cup uh the full coverage just give us a cute little same fabric it's a full top because this bra ain't bra this bra ain't bra you're real aggravated this is what i'm wearing and this is the evidence of the three body pins. Yes, that has my outfit clashing. Silver and gold does not go together. But, yeah. Right there, girl. Right there, girl. It's the, it's the boots for me.
of you trying to find your car. Oh shit. It's like ridiculous. Well, my car on this side. I'm talking about it is madness. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Where, where's my Corolla? <laughs> my
my way. Y'all know when I go places, I kind of want y'all to feel like y'all are there, but you know, with no copyright. So sorry about the music. I'll say that in advance. I haven't edited anything, but I know I'm going to put music over it. Um, I had so much fun, y'all. Kind of like with Lizzo, I came for Rod Wave, but I kind of fell in love with Tootsie. Now, Mariah the Scientist, not gonna lie to you, girl, you gotta work on your stage presence. She waved at us for two songs. She just kept waving. And I was like, stop waving. Please, if you wave at us one more time, I'm gonna break your hand. Like, she just kept on waving. I'm like, goodness. Jeez, your stage presence is terrible. But, you know, bless her heart. You know, she's trying. Her three songs that are really trendy right now, we, we were singing along and, you know, all that good stuff. Um, so I will give her an A for attendance um, and A for effort and A for her outfit. She did her big one with that outfit, girl. Um, but nevertheless, I had a ball, y'all. I didn't. I had a seat, and I didn't sit in it. That's why y'all kept getting so many different angles. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. My homegirl Shay, y'all, y'all know her from my previous vlogs. She uh, bought tickets on uh, row 220, something like that. And I, them tickets was expensive, baby. Them tickets was even with four easy payments. I wasn't gonna pay that. Um, so I told her, okay, I'm gonna get my own ticket because <laughs> I don't want to pay back almost $200. So I uh bought tickets way in the top row, like I always do, for like $70, something like that. And girl, I never went to that seat not one time. I sat with Shay until the girl finally came. It was like, Rodway was about to come on, and she finally came. I'm like, girl, you done missed the first two opening acts. <laughs> So I don't. I went in, went to another seat up top. I was there until like three songs into Rod Wave. Then the, the lady came to me. I need to see your ticket. I'm like, girl. I said, girl, it's, I'm sitting to somebody's seat because I'm not gonna play this. Let me see your ticket game. So she was like, yeah, somebody. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Let me get her seat because I know I'm not in my seat. I said I'm somewhere in 300, baby. I'm not gonna lie to you. So she was like, well, you need to get a 300. I look faking like I'm about to walk to 300. Pew. Walk right over to 202. I walked, yes, I did. I walked two hours over. I walked through from 220. So the attendant said 220 can see me go to 202. I went over to 202 and I said, I, yes, I did. And then everybody got crossed. They was getting crossed and they started walking down the stairs. So everybody was standing in the middle of the stairs. So I said, let me go down to the middle of the stairs because uh, there ain't no point in stealing somebody's seat. And we all standing at the stairs. So I stood at the stairs and then, you know, Rod Wave, he does a thing like he pretends like he's leaving. You want some more ride wave? Put your lights up. And then he come back. So I knew he was going to do that because TikTok exposed his performance. So the people started leaving. So when they started leaving, baby, I jumped over the railing and I got in their spot. So I had like four different seats this entire show. I'm not going to lie to you. I, in every seat, I enjoyed every minute of every seat that I had. Yes, I did. Thank you very much. Thank you. And yeah, so I had a motherfucking ball, but I loved it. I loved it. I loved every second of this weekend. It was nothing but yes, I needed this. I'm gonna be exhausted in the morning, probably gonna be late for work, don't care. But yeah, y'all, I really needed this. This was like very refreshing. It was a good way to start off my December cold December. Lonely, cold December. No, November. Lonely, cold December. I'm probably gonna be very hoarse in the morning because at one point in time I felt like, is this our concert? Because we were singing so much, but I was eating it up. I was living for every moment of it, baby. I was living for every second of singing my heart out like this was my album. So I'm probably gonna be very hoarse. I'll be very hoarse in the morning, y'all. By the way, I didn't tell you guys, for the people who are, who know um, that I've been waiting to be certified, I turned in my paperwork for my all my hours, um, and I got an email on Thursday, or was it Thursday? Yeah, Thursday, that they accepted my hours, and I am officially now certified, certified with the state of Florida, you guys. I am legally licensed. <laughs> I'm a life.
licensed worker, you guys. I had a certificate with the state of Florida to, to do my job. I am no longer a, a muskrat. <laughs> I am actually a big dog, you guys. And to the people who don't know what I'm talking about, I have a career job, a nine to five. I don't really like to talk about my job, um, but I've been working there for a year and two months now. And uh, when you get hired, you get hired on as entry level, um, unless you already are state, of, state board certified. Um, and I was not state board certified, so I had to go through a provision period where I had to do a three-month training. Um, from the three-month training, I have been under uh, watch, basically, earning my hours uh, that I have to do, my clinical hours that I have to do with the state to show that I am, you know, doing this work towards my um, certificate, you know, for my board certification to legally work. Um, and you only get a year to obtain all of those hours. So I had to turn in this big, fat, huge packet. Sorry, my phone had overheated. It's still a little overheated, but I'm about to get a shower and I'm home and I'm tired. Uh, but I'm just happy. I'm just thankful. I'm grateful. And, you know, 2022 is not over with. But when I think of all the memories I've made this year alone, I mean, I think so far in the last five years, this has been my best year yet. Yeah. Um... I'm just going to leave y'all with this. Don't mind me. I'm scratching my cooch. Until next time, Jules and Gems. Peace.